All right, in this video, we're gonna be breaking down several trendy motion design techniques. And what's great about this tutorial is that even though we're gonna be building a project from the start, you're gonna be able to use any of these techniques interchangeably on any project you work on. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. So this is the composition we'll be working on and you'll be able to take away four amazing techniques uh, for your future projects just from this one composition. So think about as you watch this video, how you can implement these techniques for your future projects. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and let's get started. All right, as always, you can download our project files for free if you want to follow along. The link will be in the description. So in our first 2020 trendy technique, we're going to talk about how to create this title animation where we can put a title uh, in the middle of a bigger title. And it's really awesome to be able to do this. So coming over here to our tutorial composition and all we have in here are two titles. We have our big title and we have a smaller title. So what we want to do is take our, you know, our smaller title and put it on top of our bigger title and you see that doesn't blend very well together so what we need to do is cut a space on our big title to reveal the smaller one so what we're going to do is come here to the top and grab the rectangle tool make sure nothing is selected and I'm just going to draw out a rectangle like this right across boom perfect okay then what we're going to do is we're going to take the shape layer here and say at like two seconds in time we'll open up the shape layer we'll go to rectangle one go to rectangle path one and we'll break the chain for size and we'll add a keyframe for that size parameter. We'll move that keyframe forward in time and we'll set the X size down to zero. You can also do the Y size instead, but we'll go ahead and grab these keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes. So what's gonna happen here is that this rectangle is gonna animate forward. That's perfect. So what we're gonna do is take this layer and put it above our bigger title. And we'll come here to the track mat and set this to alpha inverted mat. All right, now we have a space here and that's cool. So this gives us the opportunity to reveal on our title very easily so then we want to be able to animate in our title and i'll show you some quick principles here so we'll open up our title layer and we'll come here to the animate button and we'll add a position and we'll just bring the y position up and we'll also come here to add we'll come here to property and we'll add an opacity and we'll set that down to zero percent so right when the rectangle is fully revealed on we'll go ahead and open up range selector one and add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward just by a little bit and set this up to 100% and make those keyframes easy ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now we can use these animation principles to reveal on another title within our bigger title. And you know, it's very easy to do this. So we can take big titles, but smaller titles within them and make them look really clean. Since we're in the realm of creating shape layer mats, I wanna talk about how to create a shape layer transition using mats. I can see this is being revealed on like this and you're gonna be able to pull a lot of creative techniques from this. So what we're gonna do is take all of our current assets and we'll go to layer pre-compose and we can just call this all. It doesn't really matter what we call it. All right, and then what we're gonna do is come here to the top, grab the rectangle tool and we're just gonna draw out a rectangle like this. That's it, just like that, okay? Then we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline. We'll open up rectangle one, go into transform rectangle one, and we'll add a keyframe for position. We'll move that keyframe forward in time by a little bit, and we'll bring down the Y position all the way to the bottom of the composition, just like that, okay? Then we'll grab all these keyframes and make them easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Let's go into the graph editor here, and there'll be a little drop down here right at the bottom, and we'll set this to edit speed graph. And we'll select these points here at the bottom and we'll drag these vertices as far as we can go. So this will create a unique animation with the speed and I think that looks nice. And you can always drag out the keyframe to make it a little bit longer if you want. So that's cool. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this layer and we're going to duplicate it. So we'll go up to edit, duplicate, and we'll just move it over. And we can cover things up like that. And we'll take both these shape layers, duplicate them. We'll move them over. And we'll do one more duplication and we'll just move this over perfect okay then what we're going to want to do is take each of these layers and offset them each by a couple of frames so i'm going to select those five move it back select these four move it back by a couple of frames and we're going to create like this little staircase stagger animation just like that and that's perfect okay then what we're going to do is grab all of our shape layers and go up to layer pre-compose and we'll call it matte Shout out to Matt out there. You know, there's always a Matt watching this video. And we'll come here to our bottom layer. We'll set the track mat to alpha mat. So now we have this beautiful matte transition and we can use any shape that we want to reveal on our composition. And that is really nice. Something I'm seeing more of in the world of transition motion graphics. 
And before we move further into breaking down our techniques, I want to give a huge shout out to our 100 title pack extension right here in After Effects. So this is our After Effects extension right here inside of After Effects, and we can preview every template that we have with all of our packs right here in this extension. So you can see we can hover over something and preview that animation before we apply it. And when we find an animation we want, click on apply. And it automatically applies that template to your composition with a click of a button. Then we can go into that composition, change out our titles, and after we put in our titles, we come here to the control panel and we can move titles over to fit the original design. We can easily change colors. And also if we have titles that we don't want, we can hide them with a click of a button and it won't affect the entire animation because we've designed these titles to have extra titles where you can turn them on and off depending on how much words that you want to use. So essentially you have full control over your title animation no matter how you want to use it and you can change your parameters without manipulating the title size. And we can also apply amazing accent graphic explosions like this from our motion graphic starter pack to help enhance the composition. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time and produce awesome work for your clients, you can take a look at our After Effects packs. Those links will be below. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much. All right, so this would not be a 2020 trend tutorial if I do not include the seamless title effect that you see back here with this title just moving around the background very lightly. You know, I've done this a handful of times and you know, I love doing this, but I gotta show you how to do it in this tutorial or this would not be a complete 2020 trend tutorial. I have to do it. So back in the main composition where we did our title effects, I just have our title here you know, it could be any title you want, no animation. And once you have that typed out in your composition, what we're going to do is go to layer pre-compose and we can just call this uh, tile placeholder. All right. You can unsolo the layer because I have it soloed. Go into that composition and what we're going to do is go to composition and click on composition settings. And our goal here is to bring down the width and height to just leave a little bit of empty space between the title you know we're kind of just centering in on the title just like this that's exactly what you want to do um, just bring down the width and height until you have this perfect border just like this we have some space around the edges of the title so we'll go back into the previous composition and that title is right there okay so what we're going to do is take that placeholder go to effect stylize and we're going to grab motion tile we're going to increase the output width and the output height we have this title all over the place all right, also what we can do is come here to the beginning of our timeline, add a keyframe for tile center, and we'll move forward to the end of our timeline. And we can move this in any direction we want. So we can bring the Y value, uh, we can adjust the X value, whatever direction you want to do. All right, so then you'll have some overall animation here, and that's totally fine. Also, what I would like to do is hit T on my keyboard for opacity and just lower the opacity of this title so it blends very you know, well with all of our other graphics. So it's very subtle, but it's still there. And I think that's fine. All right, so we don't want to have the title overlapping with our main graphics or main title. So what we're going to do is pre-compose this and we'll just call this seamless and move all attributes into new comp. And then we'll grab the rectangle tool and we'll simply create a rectangle mask around our title like that and set the mask to subtract. Okay, this way it won't interfere with any of our main graphics or title and we'll have that seamless title animation going on in the background. So a really cool technique that we can add just to bring more attention to our motion graphics that uh, that is very subtle is creating these little bubble pops here. You know, these little circle or what I like to call them accent graphics. Uh, they're very easy to do. So we'll go back into our main composition here. And what we're going to do is grab the ellipse tool and we're going to draw a perfect circle. Hold down shift on your keyboard to do that. So create a circle like that. Okay. What we're going to do is control double click the pan behind tool so that anchor point is in the center and that's all. Okay. Then we'll go to that ellipse one in the shape layer and we will open up the transform ellipse one. We'll move to the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for scale. We'll bring that keyframe forward in time by maybe uh, almost a second and set the scale down to 0%. We'll select both these keyframes and hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes and that's fine. Okay. Then we'll close the ellipse one and we will duplicate it. Okay. Click on the word contents, go to add and add a merge paths. Open up merge paths one. And set this to subtract all right so then we'll just hit u on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes we'll grab the bottom keyframes here and we'll offset them in time so now you'll have this little explosion just like this and that is very nice and subtle you can speed up the animation by adjusting the keyframes so that is really nice okay so all we have to do is take this circle now and we'll duplicate it position it in random positions around our composition just like this 
So once you have these circles randomly placed around your composition, all you have to do is randomly offset them in time within your timeline. Um, and this will allow them to animate on at different times and make it look like we did a lot of work. But honestly, this is one of the easiest things you can do is creating very simple accent graphics uh, in the form of like explosions. And now with our circles randomly placed around our composition, it just brings more attention to you know what's going on in the center of the composition. And that's why you would use graphics like this just to draw more eyes uh, to what's important inside the composition. And it's very subtle and doesn't really draw much attention away from what's important. So now as a bonus tip, I just wanna share some personal techniques here. What I like to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer and go to effect noise and grain and just add a noise to this. And set the noise up to like 10% and uncheck use color noise. This will add a nice level of texture to your graphics. Then also we go to effect, distort, and grab CC lens. And what we'll do is we'll increase the size just by a little bit to like 120. And we'll come here to begin our timeline. We'll add a keyframe for it. And we'll move forward by a second. And we'll increase the size just by to like 300. So just by adding these two effects, it just brings a little bit more texture and character to our overall composition. So that is our After Effects tutorial on these four motion design techniques all put together. And remember, think about how you can use these techniques interchangeably for different types of projects you work on. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.